didn't have any kind of goal. I was literally existing with my camera. And I met an ambulance EMT named Mike Galloway. And I asked him to tell me um, his story. And, and among other things, he told me that he was upset because he didn't think that uh, he and his colleagues had enough PPE. And he said, you know, I don't think I'm the only one that feels this way. After about uh, a month, I, I got a phone call one night from Mike. And he told me that a legendary New York paramedic, um, Anthony Tony Thomas, had just passed away from COVID. There was going to be a ceremony at a funeral home in Brooklyn, and he wanted to know if I would be willing to come to photograph this ceremony because Mike and his colleagues wanted to give Tony the, the send-off that he deserved, and I said that would be an honor. Every night at 7 o'clock, many of the nurses and the, the doctors of Lenox Hill Hospital would come out, and many, many people from the Upper East Side neighborhood would come and express very heartfelt, large applause and thanks for, for these essential healthcare workers. This particular night, a car pulls up. One of the young men gets up on top of the car with a microphone, and he starts to sing the, the song, America the Beautiful. And I saw the woman that is in the cover photograph of my book, whose name is Erica. She happens to be from Brazil, has lived in the United States for a long time, She's a traveling nurse. She had left North Carolina to work with COVID patients at Lenox Hill Hospital. As I looked at her, I saw her put her hand over her heart as she listened to this song. And I saw tears in her eyes. And what struck me after I made this photograph is that I feel that Erica's tears are our tears. She cried for all of us that day. When I returned to Paris, this city that I know so well, what struck me were two things. One was the, the universality of this moment, the feelings and emotion that, that people in Paris were feeling with each other, the similar kind of solidarity, the, the appreciation that people felt for the people that were saving their, their lives, the essential workers. All of this was very similar to what I had seen in New York. What was different were some of the visual reference points. For, and I would see this Parisians that now, for the first time in, in literally three months, could come and sit outside and not be isolated at home. The Louvre opening for the very first day was incredibly emotional for me. And I saw a young couple that were visiting the Louvre from the Ukraine. They said to me, would you mind making us a photograph of us? Because this moment means a lot to us. And I said, of course. And they touched their mask to each other's lips in a kiss in front of the Mona Lisa. And I thought that was so wonderfully symbolic of, of that moment. As I've made these photographs during this period of time of COVID and have spoken to people and have shared their stories, what has struck me has been the need that we all have worldwide to identify with each other. I believe profoundly that we are all members of our human family. Everyone on this earth is my brother and sister. And it is with that kind of love for each other and the recognition of the beauty of our diversity that we can go forward.